Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter. This is just a quick video letting you guys know that I finally got my Genki Bluetooth audio for the Nintendo Switch accessory, which you guys may, if you've been following me on Twitter, know that I backed. It was a Kickstarter project. Just a quick note, this video is not sponsored or anything. This is me just letting you guys know how it is because I got it and I told you that I would. Um, I've been looking for this for a while because I don't use headphones anymore. You know I'm a big iPhone user, so I use AirPods and it always bugged me that you can't use Bluetooth headphones with the Nintendo Switch. I tried all different solutions. I tried the ones that, uh, the Bluetooth devices that go into the audio jack and stuff like that, but the latency is just absolutely horrific. So when this Kickstarter came along, I was really excited. Um, it's battery free, it just plugs into the USB-C, it pairs easy, it has low latency, it's basically everything that you would want. Um, so I went ahead and backed it knowing that I could have got burnt, maybe it doesn't work as advertised, but it finally came today. Did take them a few months though because they had some issues uh, with manufacturing um, but good on them for being clear on kickstart about what they were going through um, but it came in a switch box which i thought was kind of cute um, i went ahead and got the set that comes with the stand you can use anything though basically because you're going to have this thing coming out of the usb-c port if you want to do tabletop mode you need to have a stand that lifts it up off the ground a little bit so this is what it came with um, it came with a nice little instruction manual on how to pair it honestly it's just a matter of holding down the left uh, button to pair it. Uh, paired very fast and easy with my AirPods. Comes with some nice stickers, nice. <laughs> Do note if you are using this with AirPods specifically, the left button and the right button is not left speaker, right speaker, which I thought it was. It's player one and player two. So just hold down the left button and then it'll be blinking for three seconds and then whatever Bluetooth device you have, that's just the pairing uh, process. So you don't have to do it for both left and right. So that might save you time if you got this as well. Build quality is pretty good. It feels sturdy, um, it's light. Um, again, it doesn't need any power source. You just plug it in and it gets the power from the USB-C power delivery. This did come with a USB for the dock in case you wanna play with headphones in the dock state and a little boom mic thing for the uh, microphone. This is for if you play games that have voice chat. Um, it will add a little microphone that you can do that. Um, kinda nifty, but I don't play those games. Here's the switch on the stand. Again, the stand is just a little tripod that holds it up off the air. Anything that you can buy at a boutique shop, I'm sure will do the job. Um, but this one is nice and sturdy and just plug it in and we are ready to go. So onto sound quality, it does exactly what it advertises. It sounds fantastic. The latency is incredibly small. I had a very hard time capturing the audio and video, which I'll show you after this segment um, because I'm using my headphones and I had to put those up to a microphone and then get the microphone to sync with the video. So there's a little bit of delay with how I had to record it. But with video like YouTube, I don't know whether it's the app or not, but I did feel that there was a very, very small delay, um, but nothing that actually bothered me and your eyes adjust and it seemed fine. So that's what it looked like when I was playing uh, Hot Ones, which I love, on the Switch in YouTube app. Um, but when going over to video games, I tried Smash Brothers, Pikachu Let's Go, Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, and a bunch of other games that I owned, and they played absolutely flawlessly. Um, it sounded really great. Um, it sounded a lot better than I ever heard it, because with the Nintendo Switch, when you put in headphones, like in the headphone jack, the volume is really low. Um, but this, for some reason, is able to bypass that and increase the volume. And it sounds rich, it sounds good volume, and it does it without actually distorting it. So whatever they did, two thumbs up for that. Yeah, so that's exactly what I'm hearing synced with the video. So that's like my AirPods being put up to a microphone set to hypersensitivity and I'm recording video at the same time. So I wanted to show you guys exactly what it looked like instead of just telling you that the latency was very low and felt good, I wanted to show exactly how it looks and feels. So anyways, if you guys are interested in a device like this and you guys are plagued with the same problem I've had, hopefully this video guys helped you guys out. I know there's another device on the market which is similar, not sure how good that is. Um, but yeah, I backed this project. I'm super happy and I'm excited and wanted to let you guys know. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick video and until next time, happy hunting and happy holidays.